Hi guys, it's Jilly Hunts with a little quick card to use up all your designer series paper so that you're ready for January with the launch of a new catalogue which will bring us another lot of really pretty papers. So here goes a nice one to do over the Christmas period, maybe stack a few up ready for next year even. I sometimes find that when I'm in the Christmassy mood it's great to make them now. Even though I'm not going to send them, I've already sent my cards this year. But it's great to make a whole little batch and I can stash them away. And then next year when I come to do them, I suddenly remember and think, oh wow, I've already got 20 or 30 stacked away ready to go. So here we go. These are the ones we're going to make. Let's start. First of all, we need a base. And we're going to get our base, which is a 7 by 5 So let me just bring in my cutter there we go. and we're going to go seven by five so I'm going to do my seven this way because I want some little strips for another project so that's going to give me a nice long strip for another project so seven by five And we're going to take the scorer at three and a half. And I'm going to get, so remember it's the pale grey one for the scorer. And that means we now have a card which when folded is three and a half by five. And now we need to cut our designer series papers. So find yourself some designer series paper from previous time I'm going to just square this up and this is always worth doing with an old piece because you cannot be quite sure whether the edges are squared or not so first of all I'm just going to cut that little tiny slither off and then I'm going to just butt this up tight to here and cut again that little piece off that's a little piece that will go in my scrap box. I don't waste any. So now I know I've got an absolute right angle. So I know this is going to be squared off. And now I'm going to measure it. And remember our original base card was three and a half by five. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to the five. And I'm going to take it down by two of these little notches. One two on the inch scale here so one two that will give me one sixteenth of an inch all the way around okay so rather than tell you it's four and so many eighths or so many sixteenths I'm just going to say to you when you want a nice tight neat little um, gap around the edge then one sixteenth all the way round is a great little gap so there's my two one for each side and now I'm going to go to the three and a half point which was the size of the other one and I'm going to do the same I'm going to take it from that point and I'm going to count one two down so that was one there two there and now that's two sixteenths smaller and put all the scraps out of the way that should now fit beautifully within my folded card and it should give me as it does look just a tiny little flavor of the underlying card just a tiny little bit now if you want a slightly bigger one then take it three or four sixteenths but it's I like to think of it as taking it down notches from the original measurement that way you just kind of can imagine it better Okay, and the last one is going to be just a piece of the Whisper White card again. And this time I'm going two and a half by four. So two and a half, oh that's got a mark on. Let's go from that end. So that's two and a half. By four. And that fits nicely in the centre of that one. So we've layered up 
in tiny increments okay so whilst I've got it let's just stick this down so the first thing we do is we stick our designer paper onto the base card and this is where this is quite a nice one to mass produce because what you can do is you can use um, something like a fast fuse or snail we've now got the new um, seal products that have replaced our fast fuse and snail but you can use up your old fast fuse and snail or you can buy in some of the lovely new ones which work dreamily they're absolutely fabulous i wonder if i've got one just to show you let me just see i haven't planned this so yes i have here we go it's almost the same size and shape um, it's called the stamping seal and the stamping seal is the slightly weaker one but i have to say it's a nice strong one or there is a Stampin' Seal Plus, and all you do is run that along the edge, so that's really quick. Um, or you could use wet glue. I've just used this because it's easier on camera. And what I've done is I've just pushed the sides like this, out, outwards. I've just peeled the corner and then flipped it outwards. Okay, and I'll show you why. Because that allows me now, because this is a very tiny little edge here, and because the corner is the only bit that's going to stick, okay, the rest is not going to suddenly slip and, and grab hold. Um, it means that I can now just give this a bit of a turn and a twist and a move around, as long as I don't press on those two corners, as long as I press all the rest of the area, I can get this much straighter and much neater because I can keep moving it and then when I've got it right I just peel that off and press down peel it back and press down peel it back and press down peel it back and press down and that gives me that really lovely neat little edge okay and that's really hard to do if you're trying to do it in one grab unless you're a genius and I'm not so there we go so there's our base card ready to go let's just move that to one side whilst we do our stamping and this... <coughs> oh, excuse me for the stamping I'm using the curvy Christmas set and I'm using this lovely line of fir trees and the thinking of you uh, text so curvy Christmas set get it quickly remember to go to my shop chillyhunt.com because this is um, possibly going to be going out of the catalogue so it, you will need to get it before the end of December if you possibly can. There we go. And I love this set because it doesn't matter. You can even stamp this one drunk. Not that I am going to sort of recommending drinking and crafting. Ha 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 of course not. Who, who would? Um, so here we go. Because the reason I say that you could do it drunk is because it's kind of quite wonky in its own self. So if you get it slightly off balance or not quite straight, it doesn't matter. It's supposed to look like that. Isn't that great? And that was real red. And I'm now going to use shaded spruce. OK, and I'm just going to go all the way along. And I'm going to run a layer of trees. And again, it doesn't matter what what line you take because, and you'll find on all my previous samples that the line is different on every single one. Doesn't matter. Okay, now all I'm then going to do is get myself a little punch, which I've got a star punch here, and punch out a star from the corner. Now, you may not have a star punch. Um, you may have one, or you may have a little die that would do the same job. Or if not, I would recommend going into a stationery shop and buying a whole load of lovely little star um, sticky back stamps, uh, sticky back peel and sticks and just sticking them on. But I like this. And I'm now going to go into my little scrap box of little pieces of silver. I've got loads of these little scraps. I don't throw things away. Now, using the star that you've just punched out, if you can, if not, just do a quick measurement. But if you've got one anyway, it does help you to decide just how big to cut your little piece. OK, and we just need it to be a tiny bit bigger all the way around than the star, because once it's stuck down, we just don't want to see any edges. And we're going to stick that 
into the corner using a little piece of tear tape. And I'm going to go across the corner and maybe down the side. And I'm just going to make sure with my finger that I've got it on the top and the bottom so it really grabs hold. Okay, and I might just put a little piece this side too. It's up to you. We just need to make sure it's well and truly stuck down. And that gives you a nice little glittery corner. Hey, well, look, let's just flash it in the lights. Isn't that lovely? And now we're going to stick it down. And again, like before, we could use wet glue or any of the other types of tapes. I'm just using tear tape because I quite like it. And I'm going to do the same little trick. I'm just going to cut the corner, peel the corner back and then just fold it so that it sticks outwards so I can grab it once I've got it and then this corner oh, oh, oh come on come loose okay there we go and I'm going to bring back my base which I've already decorated and again because as long as I don't press those two corners which are the sticky corners the rest I can move around and shunt around and it's it's kind of nice and easy so it means I can line it up, which probably means I won't get it straight because I'm doing this by eye. And under the camera, under the camera, I have to be standing slightly at an angle so I don't see it completely straight and flat on. So here we go. Let's hope this is near enough in the middle. There we go. And there is my nice, quick and easy Christmas card to use up one of these lovely papers. And here's my other ones just to show you. Oh, I've got too many to fit on. But hey, let's stick another one over the top. Okay, hope you enjoyed those. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.